What's good everyone, Timothy again with Inspire With Drones and I'm back with another video. I'm excited for this one and to be honest, this has taken me a long time to just get out and shoot it because you know, it's just been something that's really been in me to get out and it just seems like different things just come up to where if I don't like it, I don't wanna produce it and put it out. But I think I finally did it. And I think I like what I'm about to share with you guys today and I think you will too. Listen, I have a question. How many of you have ever asked yourself this question? Why does my footage not look smooth? Or how can I get smooth footage from my drone shots? Well, my brother, my sister, I have the solution for you. Because I've been there and I've seen many other pilots and I know many other pilots to this day. They've been flying for quite a while but yet they still haven't figured out how to truly master their drones to get the best uh, out of it by understanding the types of controls that come inside the settings and where to find them and the benefits of them and when to use them, etc. So I hope that this video will touch on some of these things to help you be better and more professional so that you go out there into the field with confidence. I can't stress that enough. You, it's, it's, Yes, I feel nervous at times, but when I understand the environment that I'm going to be in and I understand how my drone operates and how I want it to operate and function and where to go to find those settings to, to, to get it to respond the way that I want to, there's no need to be nervous because I know what I'm doing and I'm confident because I set up the drone the way that I want to get the footage that I wanna get, all right? So listen, if this is your first time, why don't you give this video a like? I wanna say welcome and thank you for tuning in. I hope that this video really helps you. Also share it to, to others who you know will benefit and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you can be updated on all the latest new releases and videos that I post, all right? So we're gonna talk about Gain Expo and Yaw Controls. Have you ever heard of those? Have you ever seen them before? Do you know where they're located? Well, if not, no worries, because I got you, I promise you. Y'all can hear my excitement, because I really, I really pride myself in this area. I love these settings, and I love being able to have manual controls to you know, adjust these parameters so that I can customize my drone to operate and respond the way I want it to. This is all a part of cinematography. Those who have ever taken any cinematography courses, especially as it pertains to drone cinematography, you're going to learn this. You're going to find this out and understand that these settings and controls really dictate a whole lot in terms of how you get the best footage and shots. Listen, yes, understanding shutter speed and ISO and aperture and, and, and which, which frame rates to use and all oh, that's important. That's all a part of it. But when it comes to the drone, understanding how this drone maneuvers, it will take your game to the next level. It will take your drone skills and piloting skills to the next level. Y'all ready to dive into this? Let's do it. All right, so we're gonna get into this right now and I wanna break down what each component means and how to use it and where to find it. And so the first thing I wanna do is just give you some education and break down uh, the definition of each one, all right? So let's start with Expo. Expo is short for exponential. Expo adjusts how your drone responds to stick movements. And this is great for, this is very, really great for dynamic maneuvers, all right? Now, let's talk about gain. Gain controls affects your drone stability, which is useful for fast-paced flying. Now, basically, like if you're going to uh, be tracking a vehicle that's moving real fast. You want to be able to adjust those settings and know where to and know where to find them and how to adjust them. Listen, yes, many of the drones come already equipped with your uh, cine mode, your normal mode, and your sport mode. But did you know that those modes are they 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 have a factory default setting, which means that it's only going to go as fast as it's as it's set to go. It's only going to respond as, as fast or slow as it's set to respond. But when you have the ability to adjust those parameters, now you're doing things differently and you can take it up a notch and, 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 and uh, cause it to perform even more faster or slower based on those adjustments. All right. So now 
Let's deal with yaw. Now yaw is unique. Yaw controls how quickly your drone rotates. Think about it when your drone is rotating. You get to dictate how fast or how slow it rotates. So increasing your yaw sensitivity gives you faster turns, while decreasing it allows for more controlled and smooth rotations. This is really uh, essential for precise flying. And think about when you're trying to do an orbit. You know how tricky it can get when you are trying to uh, ease up on the sticks and slightly move one stick to the left and the other stick to the right just to get that nice uh, smooth orbit, whether you're going left or right. If you can go into the yaw controls and adjust that setting, you'll be able to nail your orbits even much, even much more. They'll, they'll be smoother, they'll be better because you first understand how to dial into these settings. All right, now I want to show you guys a demonstration of how this works. And so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and I got, I'm going to do a screen recording here. Okay. And I got my Mavic 3 powered up. Yeah. And what I'm going to do is do a screen recording. Bear with me. Let me get it set up. All right, screen recording activated. So the first thing you want to do, this is where you find the controls. All right. So you want to go into the GoFly app. Let's tap on that. All right. Now, at this point, I'm not worrying about uh, not worrying about anything. It says my storage is full. What storage is full? What am I using? Well, I'm not even gonna worry about that. So, anyway, I'm not worrying about any settings on the screen. This is not what I'm focusing on. Okay. What I'm focusing on here is how to find the settings, how to find the controls. Okay. So the first thing you want to do to find these settings, you want to tap on the top three dots in the right top corner. All right. These are your settings. Okay. Now, next, what you're going to do, you're going to go into your controls setting right here. It's the second one after safety. Tap on that. And then slightly scroll down a little bit, or scroll up rather, until you see gain and expo tuning. I want you to click on that. Okay. Check this out. Now, here we have, notice you have. In, in most of the, the current drones right now, it, it displays like this. You have your Cine, you have your Normal, and you have your Sport, okay? But below that, notice what you see here and, and what we can see under aircraft. We see where and how our max horizontal speed, our max ascent speed, our max descent speed, our max angular velocity, and yaw smoothness, all of these are right here and if you tap on each mode look guess what you can adjust these for each of your modes whether it's any normal or sport I'm telling you this is a game changer if you can get this down so let's let's take a look at this now I'll be honest with you I typically I love flying in cine mode a lot because a lot of the footage that I like capturing is very smooth now that I have like the Avada 2 um, if I want something real fast paced, I'd rather just use that uh, than, you know, the the the, uh, the Mavic, unless I really need, I really need that that four third sensor and the quality of the Mavic 3 uh, for, you know, the specific project that I'm working on. All right. But what I want to do real quick is just kind of go through these little settings. Now, I like how DJI really spells everything out for us. They really lay out and help us understand how these uh, uh, modes work, how these settings work. So. Starting with max horizontal speed. Now, again, we're right now we're actually dealing with uh, the the expo, okay? The the expo and the gain settings here. And so, when you're talking about the horizontal speed, you're talking about your um, your left to right, your left to right speed. So not uh, not your turn. It's when you're panning, when you're panning to the left, when you're panning to the right. You can adjust that speed. So listen to what it says. It says a higher value indicates a faster horizontal speed of the aircraft when pushing the pitch roll stick. The range extends from 2.2 to 33.6. Okay, so the same, the, the, the opposite is also, so we can also say, say this for the opposite. Okay, if you bring it down, look at that. Now it's going to respond much slower. 
Okay. So now it's not, it's not responding so fast. It's responding a lot slower because the lower I bring it down, it's not going to fly so fast going horizontally left or right. But the higher the value, evidently the faster it becomes. Make sense? Same thing with your max ascent speed. Now that's your going up and down. I personally, I don't like taking off like that. Unless there is an emergency or something like that where I really need to get up like that, I'm just gonna switch it to sport mode. But for the most part with all these settings, with especially with cine mode, I want it taking off slow. And I'm gonna show you what that looks like in just a moment. So same thing with max ascent speed. A higher value indicates a faster ascent speed of the aircraft when pushing the throttle stick up, okay? So the higher we go, the faster the ascent speed. But the lower we go, the slower the ascent speed. Same for max descent speed. The higher value we set it to, the more responsive, the quicker the drone comes down, comes down, okay? But when we move it downwards, the slower it becomes, all right? Now we get to yaw smoothness. So remember I told you about yaw. Your yaw is, affects how your drone turns, left or right. So again, when we're talking about those orbits, if you wanna nail those orbits, this is a good, a good setting right here to adjust. Check this out. Now this one's a little different. Check this out. A higher value indicates a smoother yaw rotation of the aircraft when pushing the yaw stick left or right. And likewise, the range extends from zero to 100. So this is a little reverse. Typically with the gain in the Expo, the higher the value, the quicker and faster the aircraft, right? Not in Yaw's case. When you increase the value of Yaw, it smooths out your turns more. It makes it even slower as you turn. But the minute you decrease it, the more responsive, the more, uh, I guess it's just quicker. It's, it's just, yeah. you've seen the footage. I mean, I could probably demonstrate it, but the drone is just zoom, zoom, zoom. It's just, it's all over the place because the yaw settings, yaw controls are, are at a lower value. And so you can't help it no matter what mode you're in. Granted, even the default cine mode, yeah, it's a little slower, but not slow enough. If, if you don't know how to go into those settings, and adjust them, okay? All right, so there's some other things in here. Brake sensitivity, that's another one too. I'm not gonna touch on that one, but that also is key. That, that affects how quickly your drone comes to a stop and how much distance you give it to stop gradually versus coming to an abrupt stop where it just stops and it kind of just jerks in the air because it has no choice but to stop because of those values. But we're not gonna really get into that I want you to scroll down a little bit more because now we see Expo right here. This is where you can fine tune, fine tune your, uh, your control sticks, the sensitivity of them, the yaw. And when you master these, I'm telling you, it's, it's gonna be a game changer for you. But I don't wanna say one setting is perfect for everybody because that is not. You have to play around with these settings for yourself to get a feel of what works for you and what you're comfortable with and how you desire your drone to respond to you when you're flying it, okay? My settings may not be your settings, so that's why I'm not giving you a snapshot of my specific settings because that may not be what you need or what you're going for, all right? So, and then again, as we scroll down, you see tilt smoothness. Now, I like this. This is especially beneficial for when you're trying to get those nice reveal shots and you're tilting the gimbal up or down. You want that gimbal to, to raise up and lower smoothly, not, not quickly. And so this is where you can adjust that simply by adjusting the slider here. A higher value indicates a smoother tilt rotation. Same as the yaw, okay? Because it deals with the rotation of the gimbal. Okay. All right, you guys. So in the nutshell, that's how you use the gain 
Expo and Yawk settings and controls in your DJI Fly app to adjust the, the way your drone responds. I hope that this made sense. <laughs> I did my best to try to demonstrate it so that you guys can see how the drone responds. Really, the proof is in the footage. You'll know how the drone is responding when you look at that footage and you can say, yeah, that's what I was looking for. That's the shot I was trying to get. I, I didn't want to make this too long, but I, I probably couldn't help that. I was so excited about this. If you got anything out of this video, leave a comment. Let me know. Do you use these settings? Do you know about these settings? Have you seen them? Do you know where to find them? Let me know because this, these settings will change your life in terms of how you operate and perform your drone and the shots that you can get out of it. But really, you can apply this into every pro professional setting that you find yourself in using your drone. It's just all about managing it and being in control of it, knowing how to operate it. And when you master that, you're good, man. Now you are a professional. It's more than just knowing how to you know, frame up your shot and all that stuff. That's, that, that's important. But do you know this tool? Do you know it? Do you really know how it operates to where you can be in control? You never got to worry about being nervous. You never got to worry about being afraid because you know exactly what to do in any given situation. I'm Timothy Brazell. Listen, again, if you got anything out of this, give this video a like, share it, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one. I got to go. I went too long and I'm hungry. Peace out.